scripture reads, after a long time, the Lord of those servants cometh and reckoneth with them. And so he that had received five talents came and brought other five talents, saying, Lord, thou deliverest unto me five talents. Behold, I have gained beside them five talents more. Uh -huh. His Lord said unto him, well done, thou good and faithful servant. Yeah. Thou hast been faithful over a few things, and I will make thee a ruler over many things. Yeah. Enter thou into the joy of thy Lord. Yeah. He, he also that received two talents came and said, Lord, thou deliverest unto me two talents. Behold, I have gained two other talents beside them. His Lord said unto him, Well done, good and faithful servant. Yeah. Thou hast been faithful over a few things, few things, and I will make thee a ruler over many things. Uh -huh. Enter Lord, thou into the joy of, the, of thy Lord. Yeah. May the Lord add a blessing to the reading of his word as we continue to stand for prayer. Amen. 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 Let us pray. Dear Father in heaven, we're so thankful for this blessed day that you've give, given us. Yeah. Father, we don't take it lightly by any means that you love us and that you guide us along the way. Yes, you sir. woke us up this morning, this morning. and set us upon our path. Thankful. Father, we're thankful for the life that you've given us. Thank you, Help Lord. us, O oh Lord, to be faithful in all things. Yes. 
Help us to help those around us. Yeah, and Father, more than anything else, Father, help us to remember your son Jesus who died for us. We take this day and we give it in honor of your name. Yeah. Father, because we love you Amen. and because we know you love us. Yes. Father, we ask you to forgive us of our shortcomings and our sins. Yes. Continue to watch over us and guide us along the path. Yeah. Help us to be the men and women of God that you would have us to be yes. in all things. Help us to study your word that we might grow thereby. Yes. Help us to be examples to our children and those that we love. Yes. And help us always to have opportunities to serve you and to be able to lift our brothers and sisters up in this world. And those who have not believed in your son, Jesus, yeah. give us opportunities, O oh yeah. Lord, that we might come upon them, that we might be able to share what you have done for us. Yeah. All of us have a story. Yeah. Yeah. Father, we thank you for that. Bless this service this morning. Be with those who are serving and be with all of us, Father, and those who have not uh, made it to the service today who may be on their way. Father, we ask you to bless their travels and bless their opportunity to come to us this day. Bless this service and all things that we ask. We pray always in the mighty name of your son, Jesus, let us all say, Amen. God is good. All the time. And all the time. God is good. All right, let's say it one more time. God is good. All the time. And all the time. Just show me, Lord. 
on this phone. He's been good to us, amen. You ought to take the Lord with you to you in everywhere. Lord, and you ought to take the Lord come on, Sister Miles, with that, we are eternally, yeah, yeah. eternally grateful. Yeah, yeah. 
I feel good this morning. Right. Brother Spence, I want you to knock that L just a couple of notches. Because yeah. I feel some preaching coming in this place. Just a couple of notches. It is good to be in the house. And it's good to see so many beautiful faces with us on this morning. Amen. God has smiled on us uh -huh. one more time and we're so grateful. Yes, I want to say to all of our visitors, you are sincerely our honored guest this morning. Amen. We realize and recognize that you could have been anywhere this morning. Amen. But as Christians, we believe in the providential wisdom of God. And we believe that God is in the middle of life navigating circumstances. Yes. And although you made the choice to be here, we believe it's God. Amen. They gave you the option to be here at this place at this particular time Amen. and for this moment. Amen. And it is our sincere prayer that you have come for none other purpose than to worship the Lord. Amen. It's good to see those who've been sick and God has brought them back with us. Amen. Sister Linda, we're praying for you every Monday, uh, Monday through Friday on the prayer call. Your beautiful mama, Sister Simmons. Amen. Beautiful woman. Good to see you, Linda. Good to see Brother um, Elliot back in the house. Amen. 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 We missed him on last weekend. God bless him to be back with us. And him and his wife made it safe and sound. It's good to see all of you here this morning. I'm especially happy to see two of my sisters in love right. all the way from Memphis, Tennessee. Oh, Lord. Yeah. Yeah. All right. yeah. We call it Bluff City. All right. yeah. uh, Sister uh, Goodman, I had to look it up to find out why they call it Bluff City. But they got so many bluffs in their city. You don't know what a bluff is, I ain't gonna take time to teach you. <laughs> look it up like I did. <laughs> but there's a lot of bluffs in that city. And it's good to have with us uh, Sister Biles, sisters, and my sisters in love, Angela. Just raise your hand, Angela. Good to have her in the house. Praise God. Y'all been praying for her on the prayer call. And also Chantel, we've been praying for her on the prayer call. Good to see her. Yeah. Yeah. Sister has some beautiful sisters. Yeah. Fine sisters. Yeah. But I got the best of them all. Oh, man. Y'all should have saw her. Go ahead. Lord. Go ahead, Bob. Y'all should have saw her. It's good to see y'all this morning. Y'all ready for some preaching? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Before we get to the preaching, we have some family members mm. who have asked special requests and prayers because they believe in James 5 and verse 16 that the prayers of the righteous availeth much. Amen. We want to re be remembering Brother Terry Summer. Brother oh, Terry Summer is a faithful soul. Uh, his work uh, schedule will not allow him to be with us on Sundays. But every event we have, Brother Terry tries to show up and do his part. Amen. And he asks for prayer that we continue to pray for him as well as for his work schedule. They tricked him one month, said he was going to be off, and before Sunday came, they switched it on him. And so we're praying for Brother Sumler. Also, the Pfeiffer family is home. All of them got sniffles and sore throats. We love them, but we're glad they didn't come today. <laughs> y'all y'all so funny. Yeah, yeah. So funny. <laughs> I said we love them, yeah, yeah, but, yeah. but we're glad they're taking care of themselves on today. Did you hear me, Joy Tate? Did you hear me? Uh, also, Sister Faye, our dear sister all the way from Memphis, Tennessee, uh, praying for her daughter, Victoria, and her dear mother, who's battling cancer, I believe it is, Sister Miles. And we want to be praying for Sister Faye. I know she's out there watching and worshiping with us. Sister Faye, we love you, and we're praying for you and your family. Brother Pew contacted us. Um, he is not feeling well, he and his family, and asking for prayers for him and for their finances. I want to pray for my dear sister. Many of you don't know her, of course. Sister Bernice um, is uh, home, recovering from surgery. She's also a member of the church. I baptized her years ago when we were teenagers, and we are praying for her, for her healing. Sister Evans is home, um, recuperating and healing. She wanted to be here this morning, but some medicine knocked her out. Mm -hmm. And uh, so she woke up late this morning, but she's asking for traveling grace and for prayers for her follow-up doctor's appointment uh, in Chicago this coming week. So let's keep her in our prayers. I want to remember Sister Sinclair Holman. Mm -hmm. uh, God has been good uh, working with the doctors and we're praying for Sister Sinclair. She'd be, praying, be preparing for a medical procedure. Uh, also her mom, our sister Stephanie traveled to be there in Kansas City. We want to pray for her safe return back and a safe 
a recovery for Sinclair. Uh, also, Brother uh, Elliot's uh, son, Tyrone, uh, who's gotten good news, and we're so thankful, and we're going to keep praying for Tyrone uh, uh, as he uh, is healing, and also his grandson, Alonzo. And then we want to continue to keep Sister Pat Andrews in our prayers as she's traveling, that God will bring her home safe and sound. Amen. It's good to see Sister Goodman in the audience this morning. We've been praying for Sister Goodman and her family Amen. for God's Amen. favor. Amen. And God is showing up, showing out. Amen. Yes. Uh, good to see Amen. you, Sister Goodman. And then I want to remember the Jones family, Van and Ashley. I want to pray for the, them to have love, joy, peace, and financial blessings in their life. Uh, and then again, Brother Jarrell Smith. I want to be praying for him for God's favor. And then you've been praying for the Central Point leadership for business um, uh, that they have been handling, and God has been favorable. And we'll be preparing uh, some kind of announcement and report for this church uh, very soon. But we thank God for these men of God who have served this church faithfully. Amen. Amen. God bless you. Y'all ready to pray? Amen. Because I'm ready to preach. Father God, we come in the holy name of Jesus, thanking you once more and again. For this grand and great privilege of prayer. We so thankful, Father, for the Church of Christ and the salvation that you have placed therein, 2 Timothy 2 and verse number 10. Father, we're thankful for Jesus being the head of his church, Colossians 1 and verse number 18. We're thankful that the church is his body, Ephesians chapter 1, 22 and 23. Thankful that Paul picked up his pen and dipped it in the ink of inspiration and wrote the prophetic word that there's only one body, Ephesians 4 and 4. So it's our thanks, thankfulness, Father, that we have found your church and that we are faithful members and stewards of the kingdom. Amen. Father, we're praying this morning for all of those whom we brought before you who are sick and afflicted. Father, we're praying for the sick all over this nation that you will touch, heal, deliver, and restore. We're praying for all benevolent families who stand in the need, Father, that you will provide their every need. Give them what they need and what they need it for. Father, we're praying for the bereaved families of this nation, many who have lost loved ones suddenly, some to foolishness and violence, some to devastation and natural disasters. Father, we ask you to give comfort, give healing, restoration, and give peace. Father, we're praying for traveling grace for those who shall be traveling, Lord. Protect them and watch over them over the dangerous highways and byways of life. That no hurt, harm, danger, death, disease, or unnecessary delay will fall upon them. Then, Father, we're praying for the men of God of this church who are handling your business and handling it well. Father, we pray that you continue to crown their heads with wisdom and knowledge, Lord. Lead and guide them in their decisions that they will make wise decisions that will bring honor to you and benefit to the people of God. Now, Father, I'm asking you to hide me behind the cross. Use me now as a vessel of honor and never dishonor. Use my mind, my eyes, and my mouth that they will work in concert to preach only what you have written. I'm begging you to defeat me when I'm wrong. And help me with preaching power when I'm right. Yes, that sir. you might be exalted. That the lost might Amen. be saved. Amen. The saved might be edified. Glory. Satan might be terrified. Yes, sir. And at the close of the day, the man of God will be encouraged. Amen. This is our prayer we ask now. In your holy son Jesus' name, let us all say amen. 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 For emphasis and time's sake, I won't read the text again. We have had this text read in our hearings now eight times. <laughs> Y'all ain't saying nothing. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. If you ain't got it by now, you, you just about get ain't going to get it. <laughs> and in the words of that great late evangelist, Dr. Jewel Hutton Singer, yeah, yeah. if you don't get it, somebody need to help you home. <laughs> Hello, somebody. Uh, we have come this morning in this third quarter of managing the master's gifts. Yeah. Our sub theme is stewardship, time. Chantel, talent, and treasures. Right. Sister Angela, and to all the sensational saints here today, lest I be too long, say amen, Sister Miles. Y'all hear that? <laughs> Let me start this sermonic dissertation 
by reminding you uh, that the master in our text today represents God. Uh -huh. yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Brother Jay, in verse number 18, the text says that the master left Sister Rose to go on a trip. Mm. Beloved, we see a picture of this in John chapter 14, Brother David, verses 1 through 3. Can I help somebody sleep tonight? I said, can I help somebody yes. sleep tonight? Yes. I'm going to call and response preaching. When I ask you something, right. I'm, I'm looking for an answer. Can I help somebody sleep tonight? Y'all yes. 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 know me by now, CB. John 14, 1 through 3. In the New Living Translation, listen to what the Master Jesus says. He says, Brother Marcus, don't let your hearts be troubled. Don't you know you got a decision in the matter? Whether or not you're going to be problematic. Whether or not you want to be up, restless at night. Don't you know you got a decision whether or not you want to sit down and sit on the stick or do nothing, willing on the bench or do less? Don't you know you got a decision whether you want to sit around moping, whining, complaining? Y'all ain't going to help me here, but I came to preach it anyhow. Don't you know you got a decision whether or not you want to allow depression to paralyze you? Jesus says to the faithful servant of God, let not your hearts be troubled. That's Jesus caring. You need to write that in your notes. That's Jesus caring. But then he says, trust in God and trust also in me. All right. How many of you today are sitting here have had your heart broken because you thought you could trust certain people? All right. oh, yeah. They wore your same last name. Uh -huh. The same blood Brother David was running in their veins. Uh -huh. They grew up in the same house uh -huh. you grew up in. Uh -huh. They slept in the same bed you slept in. Uh -huh. Y'all wore hand-me-down clothes. Yeah. You know, because your mama couldn't buy you much, so you wore this suit this Sunday, and your brother wore it. Y'all ain't gonna help right. me here. But okay. folk will let you down right. in life. Right. Yeah. It doesn't matter if they're your mother, if they're your father, if they're your spouse. I have lived long enough, Brother Spence, to know that you cannot trust man. All right. So Jesus says, trust my father and trust me. All right. You know what that is? That's the master giving confidence. Yes, sir. I said that's the master giving confidence. Yes, sir. But then in verse 2 he says there's more than enough room in my father's house. Yes, sir. Aren't you glad you ain't got to live in a dog eat dog world? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't, aren't you glad you ain't got to act like a squirrel trying to get a nut? All right, all right. Aren't you glad you don't have to step on nobody else's neck to make yourself look better? Yes, sir. Aren't you glad you ain't got to cheat and try to get to the front of the line? God says, Jesus says, that you ain't got nothing to worry about right. as a faithful servant because I have made reservations for you. All right. I wish I had some help. You ever got out of your car, headed to a restaurant, and you saw three or four families trying to break their neck to get in front of you? No, no, no. Y'all ain't gonna keep it real. You, you ever saw, experience any road rage because somebody trying to beat you somewhere? Yes, Jesus says you ain't got to worry because in my father's house there are many rooms. All right. That's the master giving consolation. Man. Then he says, if it were not so. Would I have told you, Brother George, that I am going to prepare a place for you? That's the master confirming. Aren't you glad you can trust the master? I don't know about you, but when it's said and done, there's been some times when I thought I had a place, when I thought I was in a place of acceptance, only find out that I was being played the fool. Y'all ain't gonna help me here this morning. I said, that's the Lord confirming. Then he says, he says, Sister Bat, Sister Bam, he says, when everything is ready, I will come and get you so that you will always be where I am. That's the master culminating. 
What does that mean, Brother Miles? He's showing them, Sister Black, he's showing his servants a picture, Sister Miles, of their eternal climax. Mm -hmm. He's showing them, Brother Elliot, the point of their highest development. Mm -hmm. Brother Black, what he's saying is that if you stick with me, mm -hmm. I'll not only take you to the dance, mm -hmm. but I'll take you home. Mm -hmm. All right. He's saying if you stick with me, mm -hmm. I'm not going to only be there with you in good times. I'll be there with you in bad times. All right. If you stick with me, the road might get bumpy. The way might seem low. Uh -huh. The night might get dark. Uh -huh. Your health may begin to fail you. Uh -huh. But just keep on holding on to me. Uh -huh. And I'm going to get you to a place yeah. of eternal rest. Uh -huh. Turn to your neighbor and tell him, you show sure enough. Got something, got something to look for, to look for in, Christ. in Christ. Tell them, come on, don't leave your other neighbor out. Tell them, you showed up. You showed up. Got, something got something to look for, to look for in, Christ. in Christ. Saturated saints, I see yet another portrait of a promising master. Uh -huh. In Acts chapter 1, verse 6 through 11. Listen to what the Bible says in the New Living Translation. So when the apostles were with Jesus, they kept asking him, Lord, has the time come for you to free Israel and restore your kingdom? Uh -huh. That's the servant wanting to know the master's will. Uh -huh. Listen, you know, you may think if you look at it wrong, that this was a servant out of place. Uh -huh. A servant who was questioning God. Uh -huh. But listen, the servant simply wanted to know right. the master's will. All right. yeah. Is your life this morning a life that's trying to please the master will? Uh -huh. yeah. Before you make decisions for yourself yes, sir. and for your yeah. family, yes, sir. do you consider what is the Lord's will? Before you look for a career, yes, sir. do yes. you ask God what is his will? Yes, yes. Sir. A faithful servant mm -hmm. is connected to God uh -huh. and wants to stay connected to God uh -huh. by knowing mm -hmm. the master's will. Uh -huh. Y'all still on the line? Yes, sir. Yeah. Yeah. The Bible said then he, he replied, uh -huh. the father alone has the authority. To set those dates and times, and they are not for you to know. Uh -huh. Now that seems kind of cold, Brother George. Yeah, yeah, that's it. Y'all can keep it real. That, that seems kind of cold. Uh -huh. Yeah. Jesus was really saying that ain't none of your business. All right, all right. But you know what he was really doing, Jay? What he was really doing, Sister Shandell, was saying and reminding them, Brother Marcus, that as a servant of God, Yes, yes, sir. As a faithful steward, yes, sir. we walk by faith yes, sir. God yes, sir. and not by sight. Yes, sir. You got to learn as a child of God, you can't look out at the weather uh -huh. and determine whether God is good uh -huh. or whether he's present. That's right. In the valley of the shadow of death, uh -huh. God is still God. That's right. Standing at your mother's bedside, making her transition out of this world. God ain't done nothing wrong. Yes, he's a man of his word. Yes, and he's still God. Yes, Standing in the unemployment line. God is still God. Yes, Standing in the pantry line. Yes, God is still God. Yes, Somebody wreck your car. Thank God you got the, the, the light to tell about the accident. Because God is still God. Yes, God is still God. And he declares that we walk by faith. And not by sight. Uh -huh. But look at verse 8. He says, but will you receive power? Mm -hmm. He said, but you will receive power mm -hmm. when the Holy Spirit comes upon you. Uh -huh. That's the promise of talents and gifts uh -huh. from God. If you faithfully serve God, if you faithfully make yourself available to God, uh -huh. He'll give you power. Yes, sir. Yeah. I said he'll give you power yes, sir. to complete the call yes. that he has on your life. Uh -huh. yes. He's not giving you power just for you to enjoy the riches of life. Yes, sir. But he's giving you power to complete 
the call that's on your life. Uh -huh. You won't complete the call unless you realize there is a call. Uh -huh. And you won't answer the call unless you have faith in God. Amen. But I've lived long enough on this 44 year journey of preaching the word of God. Yes, sir. That God is able mm -hmm. to give you everything you need yes, to accomplish your call. Yes, sir. And just in case, I don't know who needs to hear this, you don't measure God's success Lord. by your humanistic Wave in your eyes and your expectation, oh, yes, but didn't that many show up? Maybe God was looking for one. Yes, you ain't got to help me this morning. I know I'm right. right. We didn't have a large turnout, but maybe God was looking for just oh, you help me. Just one. Am I right about it? Nobody did turn out like I thought it should. Maybe God wanted to test your faith. You remember when He took Abraham up on the mountain, told him to kill his son. God really didn't want Isaac's life. He wanted to know Abram's faith. And when Abram passed the test, yes, God not only gave him a blessing of life, yes. came back home with his son, but he made him the father of all nations, father of faith. And over 2,000 years later, his resume is still, yes. it. it's still being read. Sometimes God ain't on the same assignment you're on. Right. He just want to see yeah. your faith. Yeah. 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 He just want to see. He want to see your faith. Yes. He says, and you will be witnesses. Mm. Telling people about everywhere. Mm. In Jerusalem. Telling people about me everywhere. Watch this. In Jerusalem. Throughout Judea. And Samaria. And to the ends of the earth. Mm. That's him calling them to witness. Yeah. Have you been a witness for the Lord. Oh, yeah. Or when you show up at work, mm. all you do, you jump in on the cuss around. Mm. <laughs> you, you jump in on talking about the, the boss. Mm. You jump in talking about somebody else's business and what's right. going on in their house. All right. Or do you, or are you being a witness? Yes, sir. Yeah. Even in your own home. Mm. Are you hell on wheels with your spouse? Mm. Are you the bad and worst parent your child could ever have? Or are you being a witness for the Lord? Yes, sir. Amen. Amen. That's right. Instead of saying, God, oh, you ought to have been saying praise. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Say that again. Okay, some of y'all might like y'all ain't never cussed. Say that, say that again. <laughs> if if, if y'all hadn't cussed, y'all wouldn't have known what I meant. <laughs> And see, if I thought y'all were strong enough, I would have said it to give you an example. But then I'm gonna have to. You can't take it. I'm probably gonna have to cut some of y'all out. <laughs> y'all ain't gonna help me. Because my, my human nature probably would have took over. No. Watch it. Watch it. You, you, you ain't never been walking in your house in the dark. Some of y'all don't even flush the toilet when you pee at night because you don't make that noise. <laughs> y'all ain't going to cut me. Go ahead, Miles. Go ahead. Tell it, Miles. So you don't even want to turn on the lights. <laughs> and you hit that baby toe <laughs> on your dress on the way to the bathroom. <laughs> you don't say no, Lord, have mercy. <laughs> no. Some of y'all say, sugar, honey, iced tea. <laughs> I know I got a witness. I know I got. I know I got a witness. You can keep your halo on all you want, <laughs> but I thank God He knows me. That's right. Yes, yeah. that's right. That's right. And I thank God He gives me grace. Yeah. Yes, sir. Watch this. I'm almost done, y'all. He says that you ought to be a witness. But watch this. He says, verse nine. After saying this, Sister Tori, he says. He was taken up, talking about Jesus, mm -hmm. the master. Yes, sir. While they were watching. Uh -huh. And Sister Angela, the Bible said they could no longer see him. Uh-huh. Sister Miles, that's the master goal. Yes, man. sir. That's the master goal. <laughs> Listen, sometimes life will make you feel like the master is out of sight. Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. 
Y'all gonna help me here? Yes, But how many of you know that as a faithful steward and a faithful servant, Brother Jay, we know that he's omnipresent. Yes, Amen. Lord. When you cannot see God with your mental eyes, you gotta trust him. Yes. When you cannot trace him, you gotta trust him. I'm headed towards a close. Look, he said in verse 10, as they strain to see him, mm. rising into heaven, two white-robed men suddenly stood among them. Men of Galilee, they said, why are you standing here staring into heaven? He says, Jesus has been taken from you into heaven. Yes, sir. But someday, oh, thank yes. God for the someday, if I was in the right church, they'd be shouting right there. Go ahead. He says, but someday he will return from heaven in the same way uh -huh. you saw him go. Uh -huh. That's the master's, Brother Tabon, that's the master's promise uh -huh. that he's coming again. Uh -huh. Family of God, I don't, know, I don't know who I'm talking to. And I don't know who needs this sobering and comforting Sister Jewel anointed word that the master, mm. Sister Tyler, the master is coming again. Uh -huh. Y'all don't know when to shout. Yes, I said, yeah. the master yeah. is coming again. Uh -huh. Sister Black in a world of broken promises. Mm. That's a mighty good word. Uh -huh. yeah. That the master right. is coming again. Brother David in a world of letdowns. Mm. Adriana in a world of empty lives. Mm. In a world where family will fail you. Uh -huh. In a world where so-called friends will let you fall. Uh -huh. Sister Pam in a world where co-workers will clown on you. Uh -huh. In a world where managers will mess up your dreams. Uh -huh. In a world where spouses will spill your blood. Uh -huh. In a world where yeah. I said spouses yeah. will spill your blood. Uh -huh. You need somebody. Somebody you can trust. Amen. You need somebody uh, that you can take at his word. Am I right about it? Uh -huh. When the master Jesus tells you something, you can take it yeah. to the bank. Yeah. Am I right about it? Uh -huh. Some of y'all too young to know what I'm about to tell you. Uh -huh. But in the late 1970s, Brother George and Sister Kim, and in the early 80s, a popular American stockbroker uh -huh. firm, they launched a campaign ad, uh -huh. and their slogan was, and it was heard all around the world, uh -huh. that when E.F. Hutton speaks, uh -huh. people listen. Yes, but how many of you know this morning, sitting in this cyber sanctuary, and in this holy sanctuary, that we have a master that is greater than E.F. Hutton? Uh -huh. Am I close to being right? When our master Jesus speaks, not only does all men listen, but everything animated and inanimated yes, will Lord. listen to the voice oh. of Jesus. Yes, master Jesus spoke one day to the wind and the waves, and yes. they were still. Master Jesus spoke to his servant Peter, and he changed the vernacular of water and began to walk on water. Jesus spoke to a little last lunch, spoke a blessing over it, took two fish the size of sardines, Five barley loaves the size of hamburger buns. But when he spoke over it, he opened up a buffet on the mountainside and fed 5,000. I said, when Jesus speaks, everything listens. Master Jesus spoke to a three day dead man whose body had begun to stink. But Jesus spoke to Lazarus and he came walking out of the grave. Somebody said, the footbone got connected to the ankle bone. Yeah. And the ankle bone got connected to the leg bone. The leg bone got connected to the knee bone. The knee bone got connected to the thigh bone. Oh, you know the rest of the story. And the Bible said he came walking, stainless stepping out of the grave. Am I right about it? One day Jesus spoke 
So some mean-hearted rulers told him, if you kill this body, yeah. if you destroy this temple, yes, three days, yeah. I'll get up again. Yeah. Didn't he get up, church? Yeah. He got up with all power yeah. in his hand. Yes, power over broken hearts. Yes, power over heart attacks. Yeah. Jesus cannot do uh -huh. whatever you're going through. Please. Just be a faithful servant yeah, and it. he'll see you through. Yeah, Am I close to being one? Yeah, yeah, yeah. oh. Well, hurry real quickly. Hurry real quickly. Hurry quickly and see this again. The last part in the text. In verse 20 through 23, the faithful servant who the master gave five talents. Watch, watch the formula now. Watch it. He was faithful. Mm. The Bible says he worked. Yeah. He gained favor. Mm. And he was prosperous. Uh -huh. Yes, sir. Watch the formula. Uh -huh. Because, Sister Jewel, you can't do it your way uh -huh. and expect to have the right result. Yes, sir. Right. The servant who he gave two talents to. Uh -huh. He did what God said. Uh -huh. He was faithful. Uh -huh. He worked. Uh -huh. He prospered. Yes, sir. And he gained. Uh -huh. Lord. Family, notice the faithful, trustworthy servant. I'm going to my seat. Master. Watch his response, Brother Marcus. His response, Sister Pam, to the faithful servant who worked by faith. Yes, sir. Man, because he wanted to please the master. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. The master says, Brother David, now. Mm -hmm. When? Now. Now. Yeah. When? Now. After you've been faithful yeah. and worked yeah. and did what I told you to do. Yes, sir. Right. That's did it. what I expected yeah. of you. Yes, sir. I said, he said, now mm -hmm. I will give you more mm -hmm. responsibility. Uh -huh. yeah. Some of us ain't doing jack nothing <laughs> on our job. That's right. <laughs> But we'll get in the cuss around in the break room talking about how you ought to get a raise. Lord, Lord. And you ain't doing what you've been hired to do. Lord, Lord, Lord. Some of us want to be big dogs in the church, uh -huh. but ain't faithful. Oh, Lord. Yes. Oh, Lord. Some of us want to be big dogs in the community mm -hmm. and don't make no sacrifices. Oh, Lord. Oh, Lord. Break my house. Oh, Lord. Yeah. I'm trying to do my best. <laughs> Season saints, I know you see what I see as I go to my seat. When you as a faithful servant, when you as a faithful steward, use the gifts and talents that the faithful master gives you as expected, he will give you more. Yeah. It does not matter who's in the white house. That's right. 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 It does not matter who's in the governor's mansion. Yes, sir. Yeah, that's right. It does not matter who's sitting at City Hall. Uh -huh. yeah, yeah. It don't even matter who's in your house. That's All right. right. That's right. If you do what you're supposed to do with what God gives you, Amen. he and he alone will bless you with more. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. <laughs> Turn to somebody and tell them, just use, just use what the Lord, what the Lord has, given you. has given you. Come on, tell somebody else, just use, just use what, the Lord what the Lord has given you. Has given you. Yeah. I'm about to go to my seat, but I need to tell you, I won't feel good tonight if, unless I tell you this. I, 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 have, I, I have an attitude with Sister Miles. She'd be wondering, what's wrong with you? <laughs> and because I didn't give you what I was planning to give you, I'd be upset. Be, just, just won't be able to rest with her. But I need to tell somebody here today, stop being jealous of your neighbor. That's right. Stop being concerned about your comrades. Yes, sir. Stop being paralyzed by your parents' faulty examples. That's right. Stop complaining. Stop trying to use your parent and dad, your mom and dad. Okay, he was a lousy dad. Okay, she wasn't the best mom. That's a that's a that's an excuse. Yes, yes, that's right. When God has called you 
and you have so-called answered his call, your mama and daddy ain't your example. That's right. Yeah. That's right. Stop being paralyzed by your parents' faulty example. Stop complaining about your contemporaries. Uh -huh. Stop whining uh -huh. about your worries. Uh -huh. Stop exclaiming excuses mm -hmm. and just get to work using what the master has blessed you with yeah. to bless somebody else. Yeah. Brothers and sisters, brothers and sisters, when you wake up and you realize that you are wonderfully and uniquely made mm -hmm. and that can't nobody do what you do with what you got like you can do it, you will then realize your greatness in the kingdom of God. Uh -huh. That's right. You like that cliche, they don't want to let me be great. <laughs> the person who's holding back your greatness is you. Watch this, watch this. There may be a resemblance in somebody else, but nobody got your face. That's right, right, that's, that's right. right. Even identical twins, mm -hmm. if you look good enough, that's right. they don't have the exact same face. That's right, that's right. right. Billy's face has always been more, more skinny than Matthew's face. Mm -hmm. They're identical twins. Now, from a distance down there, sometimes I got to look hard. <laughs> but if you look close enough, yeah. Yeah, yeah. they don't have the same face. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. There may be a resemblance today, Brother Jay. But nobody got your fingerprints. Mm. There may be a resemblance, Brother Spence, but nobody has your DNA. Uh -huh. There may be a resemblance, but Sister Government, nobody has your mind. Uh -huh. yeah. There may be a resemblance, Brother Tabor, but nobody can complete your assignment. That's right. Yeah, that's right. That's right. My final close. But look, one last time at this ancient text as I go to my seat. Jesus' final words to both faithful servants. Mm -hmm. After they had been faithful in using their talents and gifts, the Lord's money. Let me hear you say the Lord's money. The Lord's, Lord's money. money. That he had entrusted them with. Uh -huh. Jesus, the master of the Marcus, says, let's celebrate. Yeah. Yes, sir. Oh, my yes, sir. Yes, sir. Don't y'all sit here and act like y'all don't know what celebration is. Uh -huh. That's why some of y'all got here late this morning. Because oh, you were somewhere celebrating somebody oh, last night. Oh, 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 yeah. Preach, my I, mean, I don't know who I'm talking to. But is there anybody here in this holy sanctuary ever been left out on purpose? Uh -huh. Is there anybody here that's ever been overlooked on purpose? Uh -huh. Not invited, Brother Jay, on purpose. Uh -huh. yeah. Not invited, Sister Kim, to the party. Yeah. Okay, y'all don't call it a party. Uh -huh. To the set. Uh -huh. All right, to the main event uh -huh. of the year. Okay. Have everybody around you ever been invited to the celebration? Mm -hmm. Everybody around you had gotten their invitation. Uh -huh. They had took some of their bill money to go buy that new outfit uh -huh. and to get they have done uh -huh. and then they ask you next week can you give me a little something, something on my bill? Oh, <laughs> Has everybody around you been talking about the party and the celebration but you was left out? Uh -huh. You were overlooked, Sister Ty. Uh -huh. You were excluded. Uh -huh. Can I help you fluff your pillow All right. and go to sleep sound tonight? Uh -huh. yeah. There is only one party that really matters in this mundane life. Y'all will help me close? There's only one invitation that you should be checking your mailbox for. There's only one celebration you should be desiring to attend. Good God Almighty. And that's the invitation from Jesus. That's the one that has your name on it. That's the one that you are the honored guest at. Uh -huh. That's the one where you are the being recognized. Uh -huh. And you're being celebrated yes, for the great work and your greatness in Christ. Uh -huh. uh, there, there's a plaque 
with your name on it. Yes, you know what the rat pack reads, don't you, Joe? Well done, my good and faithful servant. Yes, sir. Thou hast been faithful over a few things. Yes, now enter into the joys of heaven, uh -huh. where I will make you ruler of many. Uh -huh. Is there anybody here yeah. that loves my Jesus? Yeah, Is there anybody here yeah. that loves the Lord? Yeah, Is there anybody here yeah. that made up their mind uh -huh. from hell to high water? Yeah. I'm going to put my master first. Yeah. I'm going to do his will. Yeah, Is there anybody here oh, yeah. that says I'm going to put his will yeah. over my will? Yeah, I'm going to put his way over my ways. Yes, I'm going to work with his work over my work. I'm going to work the work yeah. that he gave me yeah. that I might be great in the yeah. vineyard yeah. and I'll be celebrated yeah. on the day of judgment. Stand on your feet. Stand on your feet. God bless you. God bless you. Did you receive the word this morning? Yes, 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 sir. Oh, the question is, mm -hmm. What are you going to do now? Are you going to be like the faithful servants? Yeah. Yes, sir. And just use what God has given you? Right. Sister Miles will tell y'all, remind her often. Life is about right perspective. All right. That's right. The glass mm. will come in all of our lives. Yes. What glass? The glass of life. Mm. Right. Now, your perspective will determine whether you view this glass half empty mm -hmm. or half full. Uh -huh. yes. And if you see it half full, mm -hmm. that says you have expectation Man, that's for more to come. Yes, sir. Yes. Yes. That's if you see it half empty, that means you're focusing on what you lost. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's right. You trust God. Mm -hmm. Tell us. If you just get busy, yeah. you won't have time That's right. to throw yourself a pity party. Yes. All right. yes. And you'll refuse every invitation of a pity party yes, sir. that come your way. Yes, sir. Some of you wake up in a real good mood, get to work all happy, and then you give your time to somebody That's right. who ain't thinking about God. Right. Mm -hmm. And right. you let them dump all of that misery into you. Yes, mm -hmm. And because you ain't studied like you should, mm -hmm. and because you have not armed yourself with the word to encourage them, you can't do nothing but receive all that garbage. Oh. And now your day is bad. Mm -hmm. yes. Now your husband, who's a faithful member, or your wife, who's a faithful member, you come home and then try to dump all that on them. Mm -hmm. And then you get a stinking attitude yes. when they tell you, baby, I want to hear that. <laughs> That's what you should have said. Mm -hmm. You should have been equipped enough to help that person out of their misery. Mm -hmm. right. yes. Not allow their misery to make you miserable. Yes, sir. Yes. Mm -hmm. right. What are you going to do? If you're here today, it's decision time. I need to remind somebody, every building that hangs a sign and call it a church don't belong to the Lord. Yes. 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 And let me tell you this. Just because a church has Church of Christ on it don't mean it belongs to the Lord. Amen. 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 It takes more than a name. Yes. Turn to somebody and tell them it takes more, it than, takes more than a name. Than a name. Amen. Jesus is clear. He that believeth and is baptized shall be saved. Amen. What does baptism put you? Galatians 3.27 for as many of you have been baptized into Christ, mm -hmm. have put on Christ. Mm -hmm. Remember, every church don't belong to Jesus. Mm -hmm. So how do you know when you've been baptized into Christ? Mm -hmm. Now watch this now. What did Galatians 3, 27? As many of you have been baptized into Christ, mm -hmm. have put on Christ. Mm -hmm. Now, why do you need to be in Christ and make sure you're in the right church that belong to Christ? Mm -hmm. Because the Bible said in 2 Timothy 2 and 10 that salvation so tarry out. Salvation, the rescuing from sin, mm -hmm. which causes you to go to hell if you don't repent of it, mm -hmm. is in Christ. Mm -hmm. Now, what do you mean in Christ? We know it's not his physical body, 
Because he shed that body. Right. He shed it at Calvary. Mm -hmm. So what body is it being? Where has salvation been put? If it's in Christ. Ephesians chapter 1, 22 and 23. Have made him who? Christ. To be head over all things. To watch this. To the definite article. The church. Right. That's what your Bible says. Yeah, yeah. I don't care what the world says. Brother Miles says thousands of churches. I don't care. Because God only recognizes one. Now, you can call me all kind of names you want, but it's in the Bible. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Don't kill the messenger. Yeah. He says, listen, he says, <laughs> I hear the sister Miles. <laughs> she don't want to hurt nobody. That's why she said, please. She don't hurt nobody. <laughs> listen, come this way. Look this way, God. Listen, Ephesians 4 and 4, Paul says there is only one body. Yeah. Now, one body. Ephesians 1, 22, 23 says the body is the church. Mm -hmm. The church is the body. Yeah. And then in Ephesians 4 and 4, there's only one body. Now, the body is the church, and the church is the body. When he says in Ephesians 4 and 4, there's one body, he says there's one church. Mm -hmm. Now, you want to know if you're in the right church? Find out who the head is. Mm -hmm. If they tell you their church has been founded by some man mm -hmm. or founded by some woman, you know that ain't the right church. Mm -hmm. I don't care what songs they sing. I don't care how many people they feed in the streets. I don't care how many clothes they give out. That's not the ministry of the church. The ministry of the church is to save souls. Amen. Those are good deeds. Yes. Yes. That everybody should do whether you're saved or not. That's right. Amen. That's right. That's right. Find out who the head is. Right. The church I'm a membership of, I'm having a membership in. Jesus is the head of the church. Yes, sir. He's already said in Ephesians 1, 22, 23, but I'll get to you again. Colossians 1, 18. He is the head of the church. Amen. He purchased it with his blood. Not a building, brick and walls, but the institution of salvation. Yes, sir. Acts 20 and 28. Mm -hmm. He has purchased it with his blood. And you show me a man who done died on the cross and had the power to get up again and establish an institution of salvation. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. Mm -hmm. People are sincere in these denominations. Right. But have you ever heard of being sincerely wrong? Right. Yeah. Yes. Grandmama gave you the recipe. Mama gave you the recipe. And you were trying to follow it to the T. But you sincerely got it wrong. Right. Somebody gave you directions. You thought you was going in the right direction. You were sincere, trying to hurt nobody. But you were sincerely wrong. The young rich ruler, he was sincere. But when Jesus told him to do what I want you to do, do what I ask of you, the Bible said he walked away sorry. Brothers and sisters, ladies and gentlemen, I've given you book, chapter, and verse. The question is, have you been baptized into Christ's church? Romans 16, 16, salute one another with an holy kiss. The churches of Christ salute you. Amen. Amen. Will you come today? Brother Miles, how do I be saved? There's a response. Jesus says in Matthew 11, 28 through 30, come unto me, all ye that labor not heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you. Learn of me, for I am meek, lowly, and humble, and ye shall find rest unto your soul. For my yoke is easy, and my burden is light. Life is easier with the Lord. Amen. It's easy. Now, the response to that is to believe what you have heard. Mm -hmm. Hebrews 11 and 6, without faith, you cannot please God. Where does faith come from? The word of God, Romans 10, 17. So then faith comes by hearing, and hearing by the word of God. So if you're going to please God, what you believe has to come from his word. Amen. Amen. And there's a lot of things these churches are practicing that ain't in the Bible. Amen. So it can't please God. If it ain't in his word, it can't please him. Amen. You must confess Christ to be the son of God. Matthew 10, 32 and 33. In verse 33, he says it this way, and I like to give it to you in Ebonics. He says, look, act like you don't hit me when you're down here. <laughs> Play me if you want. Act brand new. And refuse to do what I ask you to do. Mm -hmm. He said, when you get to heaven, Hallelujah. I'll kick you to the ground. Mm -hmm. That's what he said. Mm -hmm. If you deny me before men, mm -hmm. him will I deny mm -hmm. before my father's in heaven. Mm -hmm. And listen, you can't pray your way into the church. Mm -hmm. You cannot sit on no morning's bench right. tarrying for the Holy Ghost. That's not in the scripture. Mm -hmm. Can no board vote you into the Lord's mm -hmm. church? 
You can't come with no Christian experience. You ain't had no Christian experience if you ain't in the church. Y'all don't know what to say. Those are man-made terminology. Now, how do you get in the church? I told you, Galatians 3, 27. You must be baptized, Romans 6 and 4. Therefore, we are buried with him by baptism. Baptism, baptizo is the Greek term. Mm -hmm. It means to be fully wound or buried. Yes, sir. Folk going around throwing water in people's face, talking about you just been saved. Mm -hmm. That's a devil's lie. Mm -hmm. Christening babies. Well, he that believeth and is baptized. A baby don't have understanding. Right, right, right. How can he believe? Mm -hmm. That's why Paul said in 2 Timothy 2 15, study. Mm -hmm. To show thyself approved unto who? Not man, unto God. That a workman need not be ashamed, but rightly divide the word of truth. Amen. Now, what are you going to do today? You're going to walk out of here believing lies, practicing lies, only to end up in hell? Or are you going to say yes to Jesus? Revelation 2.10 says if you, if you live faithful unto death, you receive a crown of life that shall never fade away. I'm going to sing a song. Because he lives, I can face tomorrow. Because he lives, all fear is gone. If you want to be saved today, baptized for the remission of your sin, come down here and take this front seat. And we're going to baptize you today. The water is waiting for you. Private dressing room is waiting for you. Clothes has been prepared. The water is ready. Heaven is waiting. All you have to do is come. Luke 15, 7 and 10. Angels in heaven are waiting to rejoice over one soul that repents. Then 99 deaths. Who needs to repent? Jesus said, I'm going to celebrate you. Right. The angels are going to celebrate you right. if you give your life to the Lord. If you need prayer, get a prayer request for them. Let us pray with you because the prayers of the righteous avail with much. Will you come? God sent his son. Sunday, call him Jesus.
all of his goodness. It acknowledges all of his grace. It acknowledges his supremacy and his all sufficiency. He is God. And beside him there are none others. But what about Jesus and the Holy Spirit? There's one God who dispenses himself characters. God's creator. Jesus is savior. And the Holy Spirit is sustainer. But he is God. Amen. And beside him there are no others. Many have responded this morning. Some came with a response on their heart. Others have been moved by the word of God. Yes, sir. Yes. Brother Jalen Webster, thanking God for working, excuse me, for waking me and my family up this morning, as well as of all the things he has done in advance. I thank God. I ask for special prayers for Brianna and her mother, as well as her brother. Johnny Anderson, as well as special prayers for the James family. I attended a funeral yesterday for Carson James, only in his early 30s. I ask for special prayers for his mother, his older brother, Brian James, as well as his dad. To Cyrus Cannon, thanking God for allowing me to see another day, asking prayers for my grandson, Zay, who will be having surgery on Tuesday, September 19th. Prayer for my son, my extended family, prayers for my CP family, brother and sister Myers and their family. Prayers for traveling grace for Sister Miles' sisters. For Sinclair home, who will be having surgery also on Tuesday. Prayers for the sick, shut in, the homeless, those who are incarcerated. Prayers for those who are struggling with losses. Prayers for my health and my finances. Let's remember all of those who have asked for prayer today. Those who we mentioned earlier. Thank you, Sister Iris, for praying for my sisters and brothers. Keep them in our prayers as they travel. 
Let's go to the Father. O oh Lord, our Lord, how excellent is thy name in all the earth. Your glory fills this earth. The earth is the Lord's and the fullness therein. Yes, sir. Father, we're grateful once again for this grand and gracious privilege of prayer. For your word teaches us that you hear it not, but sinners pray. Mm -hmm. So we're thankful for a privilege that everybody can enjoy. We're thankful for your preached word this morning. We're praying that a seed of faith been planted in the hearts of every heart that has heard it. Mm -hmm. and those who shall listen later. We're praying for a great harvest of understanding and obedience mm -hmm. to come forth. We're praying today for those who we placed before you earlier this morning. You know their needs. Some healing. Some travel some faint. Mm -hmm. We ask you to visit each family, each individual, and bless them with what they need mm -hmm. and what they need it for. We're praying for Sister Iris now. Thanking you for all the blessings you've given to Sister Iris and her family. We ask you to bless them with love, joy, peace, good health, mm -hmm. and prosperity. Yes, sir. We're praying for our dears Son in the faith, Zayn. Praying for the doctors, mm -hmm. the nurses, and the technicians. That you will crown their head with wisdom and recollection mm -hmm. of the things that they have studied, the things they've practiced, what we ask you to do for him. What we ask you to do for Sister Sinclair, what they cannot do. That is to preserve their life mm -hmm. and to heal their bodies. Mm -hmm. Praying for Marcus Cannon, that you will bless him with all things that he stand in need of. Yes. Give him favor, Lord. We're so thankful for all of the prayers for myself and Sister Miles and our family. I travel in grace for our sisters. Watch over them, protect them. Keep them safe. Allow them to arrive home and find all things well. We're sincerely praying for the sick and the shut-in and the afflicted everywhere and in every institution that you will heal, restore, and deliver. We're praying for those who are homeless, hungry, that you will provide their every need and help us to be a part of those provisions. Praying for those who are incarcerated behind prison bars everywhere. We pray for favor, for renewal of heart, renewal of mind, renewal of behavior. We ask that they be treated right, that they will be released with a new outlook on life, that they will give their life to you. Praying for those whom they've inflicted pain upon and suffering, that you will comfort them. Praying for the bereaved all over this world. That you will comfort their hearts and strengthen their hands. Bless Iris and her finances. Bless Brother Jalen Webster and Sister Brianna, their entire family. Continue, Father, to bless them with all faith. Praying a special prayer for Brianna's mother, her brother Johnny. We know it seems bleak, dark, and dim. We trust you to have your way. Yes, sir. We pray for healing. But we pray that you prepare this family for whatever answer you decide to give. Give them comfort. Give them strength. Give them peace. Help them to understand that the first step to healing is to accept your holy and divine will. <laughs> Praying for Jalen's friends and their family who lost their loved one. That you bring comfort and peace to them. Praying for Jalen's father. 
for his grandmothers, that you will bless them and give them health. Now, Father, we're praying for every visitor that is with us today. That they have heard your word, that it has inspired their lives. That they, they will respond and say yes to your will and yes to your will. Be with now your man, sir, as I continue to serve this church. I'm asking you, Father, to always use me, Sister Miles, as vessels of honor, vessels of example of your will, that we might live what we teach and preach, that we may lead all souls to Christ, that we will be celebrated in that final day. Now, when it's yours to call and ours to answer, we ask for a peaceful hour. <coughs> Trusting that we shall never die at the hands of man by mechanical failure or accident, but simply sleep away in sweet peace and hear you say, Well done on the other side. We ask these blessings in your holy son Jesus' name. Let us all say, Amen. Amen. Could you receive the word this morning? Yes. Amen. I trust and pray. Trust and pray. We're going to prepare our hearts and minds now for communion. To remember what the Lord did for us at Calvary. And remember when the word says, to eat and drink of it worthily. It doesn't mean with your conduct in reflection. Because all of us are sinners. Yes. Amen. Saved by grace. Yes. To take it with a clean heart and clean mind is to recognize. <clears throat> and to realize the gift at Calvary. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And then we're going to give. We're going to give back to the Lord. Yeah. Yeah. Encouraging those of you who made pledges for 2023, complete your pledges. Yeah. Yeah. We got work more to do yeah. for the grounds of the Lord. And again, I want to lead by example. So I'm already ahead of you. I'm in 2024. Yeah. I'm giving my second installment today. Yeah. I want to be done before the first quarter. Mm -hmm. Don't y'all want to join? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> God bless you. God bless you. Come now to the part of the service where we are to commune yes, with our sir. Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Yes, sir. The sacrifice that He made for us on the cross. Yes, Amen. sir. He paid a debt He didn't know mm -hmm. for a price we couldn't pay. I know you, right? Let us think about on the night before He was betrayed and that Jesus took bread yep. and gave thanks. He broke it and He gave it to His disciples. And he said, this is his body. Yes, sir. So many times we don't realize that we're partaking of this. This isn't just something that we just do. Right. We're partaking of his bread, which was the body, and the cup represents his shedded blood. Let us examine ourselves and think about what we're doing. The Bible tells us in Acts 20 and verse 7 that upon the first day of the week, we are to partake of the Lord's Supper. So let us think about this. This is something important that we need to do. Let us give thanks. Our Father in heaven, we thank you for another opportunity to commune. We thank you for your sacrifice. Yeah. I pray that each and every one of us will look into our lives and examine ourselves yeah, and partake of it in a worthy manner. In Jesus' name, Jesus amen. Name. Amen. amen. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
tuning in Wednesday at 7 p.m. Yes, sir. Uh, we do apologize. We had some problems with the Facebook uh, broadcast. We did post it afterwards, but right. we're going to get that short up for this week. And uh, definitely the Zoom, uh, you know, you can jo join the Zoom meeting as well. Uh, what Hill Cookout? Did we have a great time? Oh, yeah. 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 We want to just, just, Thank everyone that planned, 
everybody that that uh, worked. Uh, it's just it's a blessing to see everybody working together. Right. And if, I, if I'm correct, Hollis uh, told me that we had an attendance of 153. Yeah, yeah. So. Yeah. We, we expect that to keep growing and everything and that community that really appreciate us us being there. So again, thanks for Hollis who uh, who, who, who planned that and everybody that worked uh, worked with him. Um, ladies Zoom Fellowship, um, the ladies uh, class living as God's Kingdom Woman. Uh, the next one will be um, uh, Sunday the 24th at 5 p.m. and uh, please uh, Tune in to that to that meeting. Uh, it's a great, great class. Okay. Ladies' prayer and devotion. Uh, mark your calendars for the next one, which will be Thursday, September uh, 28th at 6:30 p.m. Uh, make sure that you uh, tune in to that as well as pass that information on to somebody. Everybody needs prayer. Amen. 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 Uh, men's training. Uh, we have men's training coming up uh, Saturday, October uh, 7th. At uh, at 10 a.m. here at the at the building, uh, we won't hold you long. We know that you have things that you do on on Saturday, but uh, we gonna we ain't gonna be long, but we are gonna be strong. Uh, yeah. and, you know, and we want every man that that uh, has a mind to to come and to work in the worship service. Yeah. You know, and everybody has a first time uh, doing something. But we can help each other and support each other, um, so you know we all can contribute to the to the worship service. Um, Levi Kennedy Memorial Scholarship Banquet um, that will be uh, Saturday, October fourteenth, at uh, noon uh, to four p.m. at the Hilton in uh, uh, Chicago, Oakland. Uh, the tickets are sixty-five dollars for adults and uh, $35 for youth under 12. If you have any questions about that, you can see Brother or Sister Miles for tickets yeah. or donations. Yeah. See, uh, see prayer requests. Uh, if you have prayer requests, please email at our uh, prayer email, cpcocilpray at gmail.com. We'll be glad to uh, pray for you. And you can also pass that on to somebody in need of prayer as well. Um, the giving options, uh, you, you will see, um, we're thankful for those that do uh, give online as well as, uh, you know, uh, in service as well. Uh, Central Point Prayer Request Line, that's uh, Monday through Friday, 6.30 a.m. It's a great way uh, to start your day. Brother Miles talked about when you get to work. How that person is waiting with, with, the, with that negativity for you. Yes, sir. You might want to get on that prayer line to <laughs> get yourself uh, prayed up, you know, yeah, yeah. for you. Because those people seeing how they, they ain't find yes, themselves. Uh, no, that's that's right. Right. How? But they just they pop up out of nowhere, you know. <laughs> so uh, we all go through that. We all go through that. Our, our prayer list. Uh, please be in prayer uh, for Dr. Opier Miles, uh, the mother of Brother Miles. Uh, the Hallman family, and uh, we we mentioned Sinclair uh, Hallman, um, AJS Management Logistics uh, Incorporated, Cliff Pure family, uh, our, our minister and his wife Matthew and Ramona Miles, uh, Miss Florine Boatman, the Cannon family, Stephen Black and family, yeah. and Gypsy and David Jones. Uh, birthdays that we uh, had. Uh, yeah. Our uh, our own brother Jay Shannon yes. celebrating yes. his birthday. Yes. Uh, yes. You know, he had a good birthday, lunching and brunching and doing all, yes. all that yes. stuff yes. and everything. But it's, it's it's a blessing. It's a, it's a blessing. Yes. All right. Amen. Um, Amen. My son Jaden Johnson, uh, yes, you know, uh, on the tenth, uh, growing up, twenty-one years old. Oh, wow. Jesus, right? Y'all remember that little guy that used to stumble around here? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, Aurora Jones, yeah, the thirteenth. Yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> Brendan, jo uh, Brendan Dean on the sixteenth. Yeah. We got uh, we got Jalen Webster Jr. Coming up on the 22nd. Yeah. All right. All right. 
and Jalen Webster Sr. on the on the uh, 21st. How you do that? All right. All right. That was Brianna. Uh, that was Brianna. Yeah, that was Brianna. Right, right, right. And we got Nick. Nick Kelly got a birthday coming up on the 25th. All right. And then we have the anniversary of. Uh, Hollis and Kim Spence, how many years? 43. 43. Yeah. Oh, God. Lord, Lord. That's, uh, you know, yeah. that's like they, they say forever, forever. <laughs> <laughs> you open the book. Yeah. Yeah. That's a blessing. That is, that is a blessing. Yeah. Again, it's been a great day, and we thank you for everyone that's, yeah. that's here, and um, we just ask you to get to you know, a lot of times we hear these prayer requests and sometimes they just kind of fly over here and pray. Yes, it, it makes a difference. I know in my own life it makes a difference. So, so uh, I, I know it's some, I, there's some days where I know somebody praying for me. Amen. You know, somebody praying for me. When I had some issues at work before where had people not been praying for me, oh, it would have probably turned out a little, oh, a little yeah. different. You know, but, uh, you know, don't, don't just go through the motions with this. It, it, when somebody asks for prayer, that's a privilege. Mm -hmm. They're giving you a privilege to be able to pray uh, for them. I think sometimes we think that, you know, we're doing them a favor. Right. They're really right. doing us a favor. Right. Right. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, allowing us to, uh, to pray for them. That's so, right. I'm going to turn it over to Brother Miles. been a good day. Amen. Uh, those of you who like didn't get a chance to make it, even if you got a chance to make it, but I want to see some of the reflections of yesterday. Uh, Brother Spence and his crew, all those who worked, had a great time. You can go out on our Facebook page uh, and see some of the clips. Uh, it was a great, great, great day that we had. Amen. I echo Amen. the sentiments of Brother Johnson. We thank everyone. Amen. Every Amen. one of you. Amen. Who were responsible for that day? Whatever your contribution was, we're grateful. Yes, sir. Uh, I tell you, you, one thing I noticed about this church, guys, uh, from the day one since I've been here five years ago, um, that we are family. Amen. Amen. And, and, I, and you know, a lot of churches, you go and everybody there for the big celebration, then everybody disappears. Right. Right. One thing I noticed about this church, we are together to the end. That's right. That's right. As we had an army of men over here, and these little fellas. Boy, it's on, on the back of the pickup truck. They were almost throwing those chairs to me. <laughs> and uh, I'm thankful. That's a great example. Amen. Amen. David and Adriana has been a great example to their children. Amen. Amen. We're thankful. My job right now is to welcome all of our visitors. Amen. Brother Spence does his best when he says that you're only a guest one time. Mm -hmm. And after that, you're family and friends. Amen. And so we want to acknowledge your presence here this morning. I want to just acknowledge Sister Miles' selfishness. She got two visitors here this morning. You know, <laughs> part of the car I drove is mine to go pick them up. You know, part of the house they stayed in was mine. You know, part of the food we fed them was mine. <laughs> and she got the nerve on here, her guest. <laughs> no, no, no. Bloodline. <laughs> I like that. I say that again. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> but she can't help it. She can't help it. She was a second mother here to four girls up under her. Uh -huh. And uh, yeah, and I told him, Sister Mother, the Lord should have gave you a whole lot of kids because you so bossy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> but we're so thankful. Chantel, beautiful this year. And, 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 and Angela, Chantel, people, Angela. God bless you guys. My beautiful sisters in love, and we're so thankful. They don't have anything they want to say, but we're so thankful to have you guys. Amen. I told them, you know, as far as I'm concerned, Mars, they can come anytime they want. Right. I say, but they did not check their sister, because you know, you know how that is. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all got mine for any time. If I come home from work and y'all there, ain't no problem. 
So good to have you on. And then we have Katrina Davis with us this morning. Adriana's guest, Katrina. She went to the restaurant, okay. Good to have her with us this morning. Thank you so much. Uh, then we have, um, I, I don't want to mess this first name up, uh, but from, from the Simpson Street, uh, Atlanta, Georgia. Hey, there you go. Uh, uh, anything you want to say? Strong over here. Hold on. Yes, sir. But I want to ask you all to pray for me. Uh, I'm a preacher. I'm at the kind of evangelist preacher kick. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. And right now, uh, I'm working with a group out of uh, New Mexico called Fabulous Four Feet. And they uh, left an eldership that was mortgaged over the people. Okay. And so they broke off. Okay. And they're reforming. And then while we've been negotiating the Lord, I want to come work with okay. them. Okay. Looking at more like a missionary work right now. Well, I'm, I'm going to. Uh, I apply for a preaching position there. Okay. And uh, so, like I say, they're kind of all over the place. Okay. And so I'm trying okay. to just bring them together so we can serve. Mm -hmm. I'm going to be calling you. Call I'm going to be calling you. Uh, I'll partner with you. Well, I'm on the side. Right. I'll be partnering with you. All right. right. We'll, we'll see what we can I'll do. I'll be able to turn it out. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm a warrior. <laughs> Bless you, Brother Huggins. Uh, Simpson Street in Atlanta, where uh, Brother Marcus is the minister. Mm -hmm. uh, well, well, your, one of your fine leaders there is Brother Larry Johnson. Mm -hmm. This is his son here, Brother Marcus. Yeah. And he's our former minister. Mm -hmm. He's been planted this work. Yes. Planted this work 20 years ago. And so we're thankful. So give Brother Johnson, and we know he's preaching over at Boldercrest right now. But give him and Brother Marcus our love when you go back. And of course, their wives as well. Thank you, Brother Huggins. Thank you so much. We also have, Adriana has another guest, Joyce Jackson, Amen. is with us today. Joyce, yeah. bless you. Yeah. Joyce is from my hometown, Chi Town. <coughs> and I told her she looks familiar Amen. to me. Maybe we talk long enough, we probably know some folk. Right. And so, Joyce was so thankful to have you with Amen. us. Amen. And then um, also, uh, Audrey Bowman. All right. Amen. So good to have you with us. To all of our visitors and our friends, uh, there's a gift that we give to first-time visitors here that you're not going to get anywhere else near this place because there's no place like this place. Y'all ready, CB, to give them that gift? Ready. We thank you for visiting us at the Central Park Church of Christ. Oh, we're so glad, we're so glad you came today to the Central Park Church of Christ. Well, you got to hear and believe the word. Oh, repent of all of your sins. Confess the Lord, sweet as name and be born. Sister Miles and our host are at the back door. They're going to greet you and bid you a fair 
a well and a good evening. I love you guys. Thank you so much for being here and being present. One last announcement. You know, the Bible talks about doing great deeds um, in secret. Um, and that simply means having the right attitude, Jakai. Having the right attitude about it, not being boastful. Uh, but we had a member who gave a great gift to this church. And I talked to her and spoke to her about her gift uh, and asked, how do you want me to handle this? And she's a daughter of a minister, former minister who's now uh, sleeping with the fathers. Um, but we come from a different cloth because we're taught to always take a teachable moment to make good for the Lord. And so I said to her, Sister Iris, is it okay for me to mention this gift that you had given the church? And here's her response, and I want to read it by quotes. You can share as an acknowledgement that it's truly a blessing to be able to give. Not as, look at what I've done, but to say I am grateful to be, able to, to be able to support the work and encourage others to make a sacrifice Amen. for Praise God. God's work. Amen. Amen. On behalf of this leadership that is set on not only being the best we can be spiritually, but we want to make God's house a beauty, not only in the eyes of God, but in the eyes of this community. We want people to look upon these grounds and know that the people honor God, not only with their hearts, but with their gifts. Amen. So we thank Sister Martha Evans, who took on the entire project for our parking lot and donating a full cost of the repair and the upkeep of our parking lot. I think that deserves a round of applause. We gave you the first report just a few weeks ago, and we'll continue to give you reports as we uh, use the funds that we're pledging for the upkeep of this kingdom. Now, remember, this announcement was to encourage you to do good. Amen. Not to say, oh, well, I don't need to give. <laughs> it's to encourage you. I sat there and I gave my second installment the next year already. We want to glorify God Amen. in our gifts. Amen. Not just in words, but even in gifts. Amen. Isn't it good when you come to a beautiful place Amen. to worship God? Amen. You can't beat him giving church. Amen. You cannot beat him giving. Try it. I promise you he'll make a way out of nowhere. God bless you. Stand on your feet. Y'all going to pray for me? Yes, sir. Because I'm going to pray for you. Yes, sir. I'll pray for you. Will you pray for me? Because we're a part of God's family. Sing it again and I'll pray for you. Will you pray for me? Because we're a part of God's family. Well, now, when you leave today, don't forget to pray. You should always say, he is the only way. He'll keep you in his arms. He'll keep you from harm. He'll bring us back again, and we will all be one. Oh, oh, oh I'll pray for you. Will you pray for me? Cause we're all apart.
In the Church of Christ, we do not fear investigation. If there's anything that I preach today that you want to question, it is not a disrespect to me.